Hey everyone, and welcome to day nine of our RV10 build. Before we go ahead and jump into everything we're doing, I've recorded a little snippet to give you guys a better idea about what I'm working on right now. So I'm gonna jump to that first and then we'll get back to the rest. I wanted to give you guys a closer look at what I've been working on over here on the rudder. Now all the skins come with this blue vinyl attached to it to protect it from chipping. And these skins will scratch pretty much if you just look at them sideways. So they are very, very sensitive and we don't want to scratch skins. So a neat trick that we saw on uh, Jason Ellison's video is to use soldering iron to actually go and score all of the uh, vinyl so that then you can peel away just the sections around where you are riveting, nippling, drilling, uh, basically the areas that you're working on so that you have access to the stuff that you need and can get the skin that's perfectly matched but you're protecting all the rest of this big open space that you don't have damaged. So uh, I, we had a solder iron iron and you just want to make sure that you get the tip file down nicely because uh, again these scratch it pretty much anything and so you don't want to scratch it and make it worse while you're trying to take off the vinyl. So you can scuff that down, sand it down really nice so it's very smooth, it won't do any damage. And you can see how, I'm not sure how well it will show up. I don't want to damage your skin because that would be the point. But so here is one of the skins where I did the scoring yesterday and we kind of peeled it off. And then here, can see after we've peeled it, now again, I just have all the holes that I want exposed out, and the rest is protected. So, just a tip we picked up on from, again, Jason, and so far we like it. So, that's what I've been working on over here. So one thing I did in this video here back on day nine that I would do differently now is if you can notice I scored all the vinyl on both the inside and the outside of the skin and I feel like now doing the inside is a little silly because uh, again we are going to be priming it where we have metal on metal contact. So it's going to have to get scuffed a little bit anyway before we prime it. So if you're looking at this for the first time and thinking about doing it. I would just peel all the vinyl off of the inside part of the skin and leave it there where it's on the outside um, instead of taking the time to go and score it on, on both the inside and the outside part of the skin. And again, it's not really worth doing if you're on the, the smaller pieces, again, like in my opinion, on the little stiffeners, for example, is it worth going and scoring it to peel it off? It's a small piece, just I would just rip it off of the whole thing. So let's jump right back in. We are continuing work on the rudder and so we have the two big skins that make up the exterior as well as the uh, trailing edge that we're working on today. With the skins, we had to deburr the edges of both of those, so that was a lot of surface area to work on and a lot of edges to deburr. And then uh, with the trailing edge, it's a little thin wedge piece and you clico it to one side of the skin and then you can take a little marker and mark it so that you know where to trim it down so that it will line up uh, just right with the top and bottom of the skin. So it extends just past both the top and the bottom. You mark it and then you can take it and cut it down and uh, sand it down so it matches just right with the, the height of the skins. I would also suggest using the bandsaw to cut down the trailing edge because I had tried to do it with the snips and it's just uh, a little bit too thick and I felt like it just wasn't giving me as clean of a cut as just running it straight through the bandsaw. So that's just my uh, opinion on what I thought worked a little bit better. Once you have that done, then you get to start clicking the skins to the skeleton there that we put together the previous day and you put the uh, trailing edge there in between the two skins now after you've trimmed it down and get that ready for doing all of the match drilling the following day. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions or comments, leave me a message below.